All right, guys, so this is the video for the brick wall. So the first thing you're going to do is obviously click on here. You can fast forward if you already have like row A, row B done. I'm going to do it just in case um, people don't. So um, we're going to build this block and have a row A, row B. So make a block. So row A, right now I'm just going to do like a repeat, it can really be repeat any any number, and then we'll have like a draw brick, and then a move, and right now again the move can be whatever you want, I'm going to put move 5, I may do repeat 6 times. So that would be the row A block, and then if you click it, let's cancel it. There's your row A. Okay, and then I need a row B, which is where people tend to mess up. So you're doing half bricks on the end, and that's what makes it a little difficult, is understanding how that half brick would work. So my original brick is 30 by 10. So most of the time, you know, you would think you would do 15 by 10. And then you would do move five and then get a repeat. And since I'm taking away a brick because I'm doing two halves, I would only do repeat five instead of the repeat six. And then I would do another draw, another move. And then I would do one last one at the end. And then here I would have 30. But what you'll notice is when I have that, what I'm going to do is just um, kind of show you. We'll, we'll go to go to zero zero, and then maybe I'll go to um, zero, like negative twenty or something. You'll notice that this one is slightly past that one. Okay, so that's because there's an extra step in here. There's an extra five steps. So if you want to evenly take away those five steps from this brick and this brick, what you have to do is divide the, the number of steps by two, which is I have in between each brick, I have five steps. So I'm going to divide that by two, which is 2.5. And I'm going to take that away from this brick and this brick. The reason I'm explaining that is when we try and do the, the take it further, or if there's time, whatever it is, um, you need to understand that math. Okay, so um, let me clear it. So now they line up evenly. All right, so now I'm gonna make a block, draw brick wall with um, let me just see how it's written. Draw brick wall, oh sorry, comma rows. Okay, so what we'll do is I'm going to grab a for loop. There's a few different ways you could do this. You can use a repeat, you can divide by two, check if it's an odd number. I think this is the best way to do it. Um, so use a for loop and go up to the number of rows and we're going to just go back and forth between row A and row B and then when I want to go to row B what I'll do is I will change Y by I don't know negative like negative 10 or something and we're going to actually use an if else in here to just go back and forth and I'm just going to check if a is odd and that will allow me sorry if I is odd not a 
So we use mod. So if i is not, the remainder when you divide by 2 is 1 because the first row is going to be an odd number, so I'm going to start off with row A. So if you go back in and see how, we need to know how long our row A is. So you have 6 bricks of 30, so that's 180, and then you have 5 steps of 30, so 180 plus 30 would, uh, um, I, said, I said that wrong, you have five steps six times so that would be 30 so you have 210 total so basically I'm going to change y by negative 10 but then I need to change x by negative 210 and again that math is going to become important too okay so now we go to 0 we'll just do 0 20 we draw a brick wall with like seven rows. Oh, sorry, I got to clear it. Mm, let's change y by negative 20. I, I meant to do negative 20. Okay, there we go. So there's your brick wall. So now, if there's time, so we got to add how many bricks per row, how many brick length, width, thickness. So this is where it gets a little bit harder. So what I'm going to do is edit this. I'm going to put um, bricks per row. Wait, I'm just going to put a colon. was first. Okay, so I need to be able to use this length and this width and this row A. So there's a few different ways you could do it. One way is you can add in inputs here. I'm just going to make a variable Call, um, I'm just going to call num of bricks. I can't make it the same variable name. Oh, sorry, brick width. And I forgot gap thickness. We got to do gap. Here, I'll just write gap thickness. Okay, what I'm going to do is set these variables. Oh, shoot. Why is it not letting me? Okay, so set num of bricks to that variable. Set brick length to length. Set brick width to width. And then I'm just going to use these variables, these global variables, to be used in the, the row A and row B. Okay, so now. I'm going to edit this, and here I'm going to use brick length, brick width, num of bricks will be that, my gap thickness will be this, okay, same thing in row B, there is going to be a little bit of trick here, so gap thickness, will be in all our moves. Um, the brick width will be in all the widths. Okay, so here the repeat five will be, can't do number of bricks, because remember I have those two half bricks. It's number of bricks minus one. I gotta take away one of those bricks.
All right, so here the brick length. Oh, wait. Can put the normal length there. This one is where we remember I took the original length of the brick, divided it by two, but then I had to take away the steps. So I had to divide the steps by two and take that away from the length. So we need an equation. So get a subtraction, get a division on both sides, and then it's going to be the brick length divided by two minus the gap thickness divided by two. And then you can just duplicate this guy, put it down here. All right, now, in the lab it says to change this by the gap th thickness. It kind of messes with the wall depending on how, you know, what number you use. I'm going to leave it negative 20. I'm not going to change it. The change x though, that matters. So if you remember how we did it, we took the brick length and times it by the number of bricks, and then we added the thickness and times it by the number of bricks, but then we went negative. So you can either times it by negative one or just put negative. So I'm going to do negative. We didn't. Um, we multiplied two things and added them together. So I multiplied the brick length by the number of bricks and then the gap thickness by the number of bricks. And that's how much I had to go back. Um, the rows is the rows. I think that might be everything. Um, if you want to change, these are all have to be numbers. You can change those inputs to numbers if you remember. Um, it's not necessary in SNAP, but if you click it, you click over, you click number, it just makes them all make sure that a number is inputted. That this, they don't make you do this in the lab but it's good practice for other languages. I don't think there's a faster way to do this. Okay, so bricks per row, I'll just say 10. The length, I'm gonna say, I'll say 20. The width, I'll say 10. And the gap, I'll do five just to check. Oh wait, I should probably clear it. Put clear. I might go to like negative 50, zero. Okay, and then just, you just want to test it out in different ways. Test out, you know, maybe I'll do five bricks with a length of 40. And you just make sure everything's correct. So that that's it. That's all you have to do for this. All right, so when you're done, submit it to me on Canvas. If you have any questions, let me know.